Students have been crossing the US-Mexico border to attend classes in the Deming Public School since 1948. The isolated Mexican border town of Palomas didn't have a high or middle school of its own, something that's since changed. Ricardo Gutierrez and his siblings were some of the first Mexican students in the Deming district. His family moved up from the interior of Mexico just for the opportunity. I think we were fortunate for us, for the Deming Public Schools to let us come over here, you know, and have an opportunity to better ourselves as human beings, not only to study, you know, but, you know, a lot of the times they would give us the food, we, we didn't have the resources. Gutierrez worked his way through the US education system recently receiving his Master's in Education from New Mexico State University. Now he teaches fifth grade at Columbus Elementary, the school he attended as a child. They gave me the opportunity, so we're giving back to the community. Palomas has since opened its own school. About 20 years ago, Deming had to stop accepting Mexican students, but the district still accepts Mexican students who are US citizens. About 10% of the students in the Deming Public Schools live in Mexico. Almost half attending Columbus Elementary live in Mexico, so much of the curriculum is tailored to their specific needs. Most of them speak English as a second language. Principal Armando Chavez says that's a challenge, but one his teachers are meeting. It's amazing the chemistry that needs that, that needs to be in place for our children in order in order for them to receive a, an equitable education. We're providing children with an environment where there's simultaneous learning in both languages at the same time. Uh, we don't want our children to lose their home language because studies show if they if they learn their home language first and they learn it acad at an academic level, then the second language comes much faster. A Michigan State University study took a look at math and reading scores at Texas schools and found that even native English speakers did better at schools with bilingual education. But fifth grade teacher Ricardo Gutierrez says there's another challenge, one common for many students regardless of where they live, the need to impart discipline and aspiration for a better life. I'm a, a very strict person you know, with my students because why? I want them to better themselves. I don't want my students to come and work at the fields here. I want my students to go get a college education and better their lives. Not everybody living in the Deming area says educational resources should be so tailored to the needs of students living in Mexico. Russ Howell is the Luna County Chair of the Republican Party. They don't live in the United States. So um, that forces the state of New Mexico to pay for their education as well as those of us that are taxed in Luna County to pay for them too, which causes a little bit of a problem. Hal says she's concerned that allowances like the one being made by the Deming Public Schools motivates people to exploit birthright citizenship. They're getting a free education because her mother decided to give birth in the United States rather than back in Mexico where they live. But according to the Columbus Chamber of Commerce, the relationship between Columbus, New Mexico and Palomas, Mexico is mutually beneficial. The organization says the students crossing the border every day are part of that, making up half of the 800 pedestrians who cross each day. Principal Chavez says if there are concerns about American citizens in Mexico not paying their share, then that's even more reason to make sure they are getting a good education. I mean, we want to educate our children to the best of our ability, uh, not to live off the system that the, the, that the government provides. We want them to come across and to go to college and to be successful. And, and so we project that as a staff and we do that in the most positive way possible. In 2012 and 2013, the state gave Columbus Elementary an F grade. The school has seen major improvements since then, scoring a B grade in 2015. For KRWG, I'm Simon Thompson.